Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to another tutorial. We're back in Dark Table. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Touched by Kai. Welcome back to. Wait, that's. I said it backwards. I'm Kai. Welcome back to Touched by Kai. I'm Kai. I forgot my own intro. Anyway, uh, we're back in Dark Table because Dark Table is really nice. Um, and we're going to be looking at some uh, some ways that color can affect an image. So I have this image here where there's. I picked this image solely for the purpose that most of it is solid white and the rest of it has very little color, you know, like the, the hair and the glasses and whatnot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work on this a little bit. So the first thing that I want to do is we're going to go ahead and go over here. And this is, of course, this kind of stuff works in any program, but I just really like Darktable because uh, it's really, really nice. And it's free, so that's always very cool. So um, the first thing I want to do is I kind of want to mess around with some, some actual color here. So let's go to color correction. And something really cool that we can do, I think, hmm, what kind of, what kind of tone... What kind of tone do I want to do? I want to do something like heavily stylistic right now. So, um, let's see. I really kind of like the way the blue looks. That looks really cool, actually. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can do something with blue. We'll do maybe darker tones of like maybe purpley like this. And then we'll do like a bluish tone for the highlights. All right, so this the, this dark one is obviously the dark colors is going to be represented by whatever I have over here. I can turn the saturation up or down or inverted or whatnot. Um, I think we're going to... Oh, that looks really cool. Um, anyway, um, let's see. I, I want to do something like really, really stylized. Um, so let's actually go ahead and make the darks kind of like pinkish. I'll turn the saturation down a little bit. Um, let's do some blend options. This is, this might be kind of good. Um, actually, it's, uh, you know what, we know what we'll do instead. Well, let's turn it off. Let's, let's do some, um, let's do some, some, uh, what was it called? The, that amazing technique, graduated density. So I really enjoy this quite a bit. So we're going to turn the density up a little bit. Get a nice kind of thing going on here. Maybe rotate it around a little bit. Uh, what side do I want this to be on? Hmm. I guess we'll just do it, do it like this. That looks pretty nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. Uh, we can also change the hue around, but it's not going to change too much because we have that strong color filter on there. Um, let's actually make the maybe turn the saturation up. Oh, the saturation saturation heavily affects this. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, compressions kind of just. Making those areas a little, a little bit brighter in the center there, which I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay away from. Um, let's put a bunch of grain in this because I, I, I really, like I said, I really want this to be like super stylized. Um, and let's actually add a little bit of vignette. My favorite thing. <laughs> Pull that in like that. We have to make this a little bit softer as well. All right. Fall off strength. Pull that out a little bit. Turn the scale down. And we're also going to have to turn down the duh, 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 brightness. There we go. So we just have a little tiny bit of that vignette in there. Just a little bit. Um, which is which is very nice. So let's actually go ahead and go to Filmic here. And I actually want to turn down. I want to turn. I mean, not, not Filmic. Tone Curve. What am I doing? Uh, I want to turn down this image a little bit maybe uh, brighten the 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 darks and then darken the lights a little bit um yeah i like that it looks pretty nice um now for the most part do i actually want hmm hmm i don't know if i want that um vignette we're gonna turn that vignette off um all right so something else that i really 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 want to make sure that we do is I really want to I want to kind of have the background solid like that so I don't want to have that gradient like that I, I really really want it to be solid so that's why I got rid of the vignette um, but I don't want to like bust the image too much so I'm looking at I'm looking at these highlights like on her cheek and right here as well and up on the shoulder I'm trying to make sure that those aren't super bright. I think that's about as far as I can go with it. That looks fine. Um, but this blue is not really growing on me. Um, so I kind of want to maybe change it. Oh, this might be kind of good. We're going to have to change some of these settings here, though. I want to maintain that, like, 
that kind of like old school vibe that I'm getting from this, but I would really like it to be not as crazy. So we're going to turn on the saturation a little bit. Um, and I, obviously I still have that graduated density. I'm going to turn the graduate, graduated density off as well. Um, yeah, I like that. That's nice. Um, so uh, what else can I do here? Let's actually go ahead and grab the white balance and kind of tint this a little bit as well. Probably the other way. Oh, not that much. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Temperature, not that much either. Small movements makes a big, big difference here. Getting that little bit of that purple down in the shirt, which is what I'm looking for. Hmm. And I, I'm thinking at this point, I don't want to do too much else to it because I'm going to start. I'm going to start messing up the image in the way I don't want to like it's 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 pretty messed up at this point like I'm not gonna lie um but like I said heavily stylized I really want that to be saturated there we go that's what I'm looking for right there I really wanted that to kind of come through but I didn't want it to uh I didn't want everything to be blown out like it was so that looks much better I think I might actually pull the middles the middles down maybe not that much uh you know what I kind of wanted to look Super flat like that as well. I'm gonna have to turn the saturation down if I do something like this though. All right, I quite enjoy this. This looks fairly cool to me. Um, like I said, obviously highly stylized, but it's a specific kind of it's a specific kind of vibe that I'm going for, and I really enjoy this um, quite a bit. So we can actually go back to the original. And then take a look at the stylized version, which is very cool. This looks like a painting now. It looks like she's a painting going back to the original one and then coming back and then going back to this one. That is, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah. This looks like, looks like a painting. Holy. Um, very, very cool. Um, and like I said, this, obviously you can see the, the power of the, the color grading and color correction in this, um, program. It's insane. Um, what does that green look like? Because their hair is green, you know? What does that look like if I do something like this and I put the green over there and I put the darks and the red? Hmm. So many different vibes, you know? Sometimes you just never know what to do. But for this specific instance, I think I might actually go with the green because their hair is green. And I didn't want to do that because I wanted the green to stand out, but I kind of really like how the red is standing out instead of the green. So I think I might just switch it to be green like this. That looks really good. What does it look like without the green, though? The green is quite strong on this. Oh. But see, it looks like it really does look like a painting without without the um, without the grain. And at this point, we've done all of this with minus the, the vignette and the other things. But uh, we've done all of this, and it only looks like I added the green <laughs> the green background to it. Craziness. Um, but I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. I really. I really like this. I kind of want to rotate it very slightly as well. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to get rid of that gap under her arm right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. All right. I enjoy this. Of course, this image is from pixels.com, by the way. Um, pixels with an E. I think that's going to be it. I might want to make everything just a little bit brighter. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.